uh, you know, we have reached till this destination that we have come to the semi-final and within not a long time, we are going to have a final as well. That is going to be a very interesting uh, ball game. And let me tell you all that, you know, whether it is vice chairman or myself, wherever we have been traveling, meeting people, there is a lot of positivity has uh, positivities been uh, seen among the people. And the encouragement which people are carrying in their mind is unmatchable. Uh, you know, uh, the first compliments I would like to give it to all those participants who actually made one fact very clear is that, that you made the life simple. Right? Life simple in the sense that you have given confidence to many of the people in the entire process. Uh, that technology can be adopted at any given point in time at any age. That is simple and the strongest message you people have given. And this is actually driving the entire uh, ecosystem of the Institute at present. Dear friends, it has been a very interesting and very amazing journey of the hackathons. We finished first semi-final and then we are on the second semi-final today. When we discuss this AI hackathons in every conferences or with many of the members, they are excited. And they are excited because they feel that this is an AI revolution which has been started in ICI by the AI in ICI committee. For the uh, next panelist and uh, for the panelist is the one of the person who is the chartered accountant, Rama Jain Jayachandran. And friends, let's welcome him. Over to you, Rama. Yeah. So I hope I'm audible. So good evening, everyone. So this is my presentation. Uh, my presentation today speaks about uh, the, the use case of natural language processing in Tally using a SPACI model in Python. So this helps in chartered accountant, non-chartered accountant to use any accounting uh, application, say, for example, Tally, SAP or anything to pass any entry just by entering a transaction. My already the older presentation of mine, which was being presented on use of inbuilt NLP in Tally, but now I've slightly advanced it to use a, a Python based uh, a open uh, spacey model for NLP, where you pass any transaction uh, into the system, the system will get converted into a financial entry and get passed into the system. Again, this time the model is very interesting, you know, uh, even some parameters, for example, date, any, any example, for example, the party name or any parameter is missing. So I'm going to use this uh, tally uh, edit log model where it captures as an exception into the system uh, with the uh, with the ledger is missing. For example, RAM limited ledger is missing. So that still the accounting application captures the record and you know it accounts it as an exception. Later the user can go and uh, modify it and save the transaction. So this is what I I'm been planning for this uh, today. So it helps in a lot of uh, use cases where. Uh, where, a, where a very basic, you know, a diary level entry on I paid uh, so and so, I received so and so, I sold so and so, I purchased all of this very, very basic plain vanilla natural English can be passed on to the model, which can be converted as a transaction into the accounting application. So for the example of an accounting app, uh, application today, I have chosen to tally. So I'm going to show you a small process flow on how this transaction is being entered into tally. So for which I'm, I'm going to use a Python model here. So, and when I click, click, click this process dot bat file, so it will ask me to enter the transaction. So I have some transactions already noted here. So I'm going to say I spent uh, rupees uh, 5,000 uh, for office uh, from vendor uh, ABC or so this is the plain vanilla English. I the older one has a limitation of uh, you know. Also, I'll move on to my older model here in my GitHub page uh, under touch uh, tally natural language. So here I had to give a certain keywords. For example, create ledger. Then only the ledger gets created. Uh, again, I have to, for creating a transaction, I have to give a certain specific keyword like make payment. However. In this new model, I need not to do any kind of uh, basic keyword like you know make payment, create item, 
create say so sales order so i need not create ledger i need not give any i need not give any kind of a keyboard like this rather i can just write a plain vanilla english language so i'm going to say for example i'm going to try to post this entry so i spent rupees 5000 on books for office on 29th april from ica organization so i'm going to go to the model and going to post this entry so the model gets post posted into tally so let me open the tally and show you the transactions here and i know the ledger i'm not posted so the ledger is not created here give me a moment just to the sale entry here Yeah, it does not take into date, but but took the narration as made sales to Ram and it created this particular entry. So credit is properly given to sales, but debit it does not know to whom it has to make. So I'm going to create a ledger Ram and post this entry. So maybe the date I had to give for the accounting period. Let me go to the go and give it to the current date that the tally is selected. So like this, a transaction from this. Uh, a screen for any kind of transactions can be entered into the system versus the logic being uh, implemented by spacey it takes the data process the data it does it does the tagging of data and uh, it does the name entity recognition it recognizes the date i can go and give date it's like anything i i just gave 29th april year i have given 30th april year so I can go and give any kind of uh, data. The spacing model in Python, uh, a good NLP model, reads all this transaction text, converts the data back into tally and posts the data back into tally. So when you use a tally latest model, for example, uh, 4.1 or 4, it gives you these exceptions. So if the data is clear, then it gets posted. Otherwise, it throws you an exception. So with this, any kind of a live data, even a person does know tally or does not know tally can able to use this data and ask the person as the as a guy who does not know accounting to post anything and if any of the important parameters misses the data gets you know filtered into the uh, exceptions part of it so this is the first part of presentation i want to make it for you in terms of this uh, nlp in terms of data entry again in terms of predictive financial modeling or you know in terms of any uh, financial reporting analysis i just want to show you one more development which i i personally made in tally so i just opened a tally for a period and uh, you know i'm going to have a single click export button here the moment i click a button and i need to give the tally port number currently i'm running with 9004 so here 95% of the data in tally got downloaded to excel sheet here in a span of uh, say 3.96 seconds every data so which i'm it is asking me should i open the file i'm going to say yes so this particular file as data all the ledgers master data all the transactional data the day book data and bill references data opening closing gsc data stock movement data uh your eWable data, HS encode detail, cost center wise details, all of this data is available in a single click export. Maybe, maybe I have chosen a file, uh, you know, where uh, where I've, I've taken a file where uh, the data might be smaller, but so it, it 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 is capable of exporting, you know, a thousand transaction in a span of uh, three seconds. So this file can be used in any of the generative AI models like uh, your GPT, chat GPT, or any other model to do any financial analysis. Like my precedence has shown me the list of uh, 
tds items to be reconciled uh, you know gst transactions to be reconciled uh, or gst litigation to be a handle this daybook can be mention uh, last 2 minutes left yeah yeah this data can be uh, uploaded to the any generative model for the purpose of analyzing or replying to any notices or any kind of external reconciliations like 26 years and any kind of waiting for the purpose it can do. Also, this kind of extraction of the daybook into so detail on which account is debited, which account is credited, including the including the including the including the group names will help us in solving a lot of problems. Basically, you know, our our entire audit process can be done at ETL for for ending up with any report of class uh, 3CD reports or your GSC audit reports or anything can be you know done with this data. So this is what my uh, uh, presentation is all about. So and I'm ready for the questions uh, you asked. So it's not only a data processing model; uh, it can also do a data exporting and it can do a, any kind of analysis using this NLP. So over to MC. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Ramajan, for your uh, excitement and the integration of tally and different uh, capabilities of NLP. So now I will request our juries. Over to you, Manu, sir. Sir, you are on mute. Thank you, Mish. Right. And um, basically, I think uh, you showed us two parts. The first part was using Python. You showed us how to make an entry in Tally. So one uh, thing I think, again, if somebody must be quite conversant with Python to be able to do this. Is that a not, prerequisite? Not necessary. Not necessary. It is an open model available anyone to free to download and use. Not necessarily they require a programming language to configure it. So without knowing Python, we can also do this. Yeah, you can just do a double click on this uh, bat file uh, if you can able to allow but, me. Uh, but I think if there's some glitch, something, though, a little bit of Python is essential. Otherwise, no, we will no, be it, lost. It, 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 Yes, Maybe it not. is a model I just developed for the purpose of this session. Maybe another few more lines we can handle the exceptions. And very, very important, the Tally version 4.0 handles the exception by itself. Even any any kind of any kind of uh, mandatory debits or credit is not available. The exceptions will be handled by the accounting application itself. And the second part which you showcased was probably extraction of data from Tally by a single click, which is an option given in Tally. And then use that data to do whatever processing we want. And for that, we can use our Power Query or AI tools or whatever it is there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Manu, sir. Now, over to you, Mayur. No, I'm done, actually. I'm okay with the presentation. Nice presentation. You are just... Unmute, unmute, Mayur. Thank you, sir. Okay, so, uh, Rama. Your presentation was good. Your integration, integration of multiple tools is amazingly good. But there is a slight challenge, which I feel like maybe there for a chartered accountant. One has been rightly mentioned by Manu, sir. A basic knowledge of not programming, actually, but logic needs to be known how to integrate and how to check those tools. And second problem is this. These tools are continuously been upgrading. So you have to make sure that your single code will not be able to satisfy your needs, maybe with the next versions and all. Fine. So every time you have to create these codes, which can be a challenging issue. So I think a code library needs to be built up, which uh, again has to be a part of it. So code libraries, which you can you can execute code one, code two, code three as per your requirements. So okay. whenever whenever a practical implementation of these tools has to be there, the development of code libraries and integration of code libraries is something which I feel like is very much important. Correct, sir. I, I can also suggest you, I know one more uh, you know idea coming to my mind. See, there are a lot of uh, these libraries can be a open source libraries. So it can be imported into, and there are a lot of contributors, myself, Mr. Park. There are a lot of people, you know, working for this Python. Chartered accountants, I personally know. Also, Python is part of the CA curriculum now. So maybe from next year onwards, we can expect students to contribute on this open source libraries. Yeah, it can be, be done because universal. gradually you can create this code libraries. Actually, it's not a one person task. It's not a one day task also. True. Thank yeah. You. yeah. Thank you, Saurabh ji.